Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Max class. Today we are going to discuss about the topic whole numbers. As we know we use 1 2 3 4 when we begin to count, right? They come naturally when we start counting. Hence, mathematicians call the counting numbers are natural numbers. Natural number means it starts from 1 and it is ending at the point infinity. What do you mean by infinity? It is the biggest number which is not found yet, which is not discovered yet. Okay, let's begin with predecessors and successors today. Have you heard about these two words before? Yes, in previous classes, you got an idea about these two words. But anyway, we will revisit that. For a given any natural number, you can add 1 to that number. And you will be getting the next number, which we call it as successor. The successor of number 14 is, we have to add 1 to 14, we will be getting 14 plus 1, it is 15. And take the number 21. The successor of 21 is 21 plus 1 will be getting 22. And so on. We can find the successor of any given number like this. Take the example of 35. The successor of 35 is 36. The successor of 98 is 99. 98 is coming just before 99. Uh, we know it. So it is the predecessor of 99. 98 is the predecessor of 99. And 99 is the successor of 98. How we will get predecessor? We should subtract 1 from the given number. Then we will be getting the predecessor of the particular number. Take number 3. And the successor of number 3 is 4. And how we will find the predecessor of number 3? Just subtract 1, you will be getting 2. 3 minus 1, you will be getting 2. Then 2 is the predecessor of 2 is the predecessor of 3. Then take the number 2 and you will be adding 1 to that. You are getting the successor of 2 as 3. Successor of 2 is 3 and predecessor of 2 is 1. You are minusing 1 from 2. You will be getting 1. That is the predecessor of 2. Okay. Then and all these are natural numbers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Every numbers are natural numbers. Okay. Now we can go for number 1. You are writing the successor of number 1. You will be getting 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Successor is 2. And how will you find predecessor? The number before the given number. You have to subtract 1 from the given number is 1 so 1 minus 1 it's 0 and I already told in the beginning there is the natural numbers or counting numbers we used to count from 1 right then there is no 0 in natural numbers natural number starts from 1 so can we write 0 there actually in natural number no because there is no 0 in counting numbers then what we will do? We will write, we can write 0 there, but the set of number, the collection of number will be changed now. What will be that number? Okay. Natural numbers plus 0, including 0 is known as whole number. In natural number system, there is no predecessor for 1, but we know that before 1, you can find a predecessor and it's 0. But 0 is not counting number, means it is not there in the natural numbers. Then we will add this 0 in the group of natural numbers. We will be getting, 
you will be getting the whole numbers so we can say that the first number to be discovered were natural numbers 1 2 3 4 till infinity the set of number we can denote like the set of 1 2 3 4 till infinity if we include 0 to the collection of this number we will be getting whole numbers the set of numbers from 0 to infinity as shown in the screen now we know that there are negative numbers too if we put the whole numbers and the negative numbers together the new collection of numbers we will get it look like 0 1 2 3 4 and the negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 and so on this collection of number is known as integers negative integers and positive integers all together we can call it as integers this is all about the numbers thank you for watching